Whether you're a fan of Dear Esther or Amnesia, A Machine for Pigs, and consequently the developers, or you just remember that one anecdote that Gollum told you in Zero Escape, Virtue's Last Reward, I'd wager a lot of you have heard the phrase the Chinese room sometime before this video, but for those who haven't, let me explain what it is. The Chinese Room is a thought experiment that was first presented in 1980 by John Cyril in order to challenge the claim that it's possible for a digital computer running a program to have a mind and consciousness in the same sense that people do. The idea goes something like this. Imagine you're in a room filled with a huge number of Chinese characters on pieces of paper that you can't understand along with a book of instructions that you can. If somebody on the outside of the room were to ask you questions in Chinese by writing them down on pieces of paper, paper and slipping them under the door, you would theoretically be able to use your book of instructions along with the characters to form appropriate responses. If you exchange notes back and forth for a little while, the person on the outside may think you know Chinese even though you have no comprehension of the language. As long as you understand what to do, then you can respond to any question asked and carry on a conversation for a little while. It may seem like you're fluent in Chinese to the person on the outside, but all you're doing is following a set of instructions previously given to you simulating that knowledge. Now again, the whole point of this thought experiment is to challenge the claim that a computer can truly think or have intelligence. No matter how well you program a computer, it doesn't actually understand Chinese. It only simulates that knowledge, which isn't really intelligence. It may seem on the outside like it understands the language, but all it's doing is following a set of rules given to it, which isn't really thinking or understanding. But anyway, the reason I bring this up is because this can be a very interesting argument for many other topics, not just against what's referred to as strong artificial intelligence. And today I want to bring it to your attention in League of Legends. A lot of you send me tons and tons of questions on Facebook and Twitter and Twitch asking my advice in whatever situation you're currently in. I'm in Bronze 1, but I can't get up to Silver. I want to hit Diamond by the end of the season. Or even something like, I got lessons from a pro and my rating shot way up, but now I hit a brick wall again. You all want me to give you detailed instructions on how to advance your League of Legends career, as it were, and help you over whatever hurdle you're currently struggling with. But if I were to do that, you wouldn't really be getting better. The biggest problem I have with giving you information on how to get better at League is information can only take you so far. If you look back on my previous videos, apart from the occasional top 10 tips and tricks video, I almost always try to teach you how to think, how to behave, or how to process information, rather than give you an instruction book of how to get from bronze to challenger. I could tell you step by step how to get from whatever rating you're at to whatever rating I'm at, but you wouldn't really be deserving of that rating. I'd only be treating you as if I was living vicariously through your account as a smurf. It's not you that gets your account to platinum one, it's me. It would be like a father who's helping his daughter with her homework, but instead of teaching her how to solve the problems, he's only giving her the answers. It may seem like she knows the material to others, and she may get a perfect score on it if it's graded, but she doesn't actually understand the topic, and she doesn't deserve the grade. The only way for you to truly get better at something is for you to learn how to teach yourself. You can buy a diamond account on eBay if you want, or pay hundreds and hundreds of dollars for lessons, classes, and what have you to get to your dream rating, but you'll never understand the language of how to play League of Legends. You'll only be simulating that knowledge through instructions given to you by the internet. Anybody can take information and translate it into a result. Anybody. It's so easy that, theoretically at least, someday we could create a computer program that does that for us. But the results will have no significance for the user. You can pretend to be a diamond player, buy a diamond account, ask your diamond friend for advice, or duo with some diamond guy until you reach diamond yourself. The same way I could pretend I'm a great artist, or a great caster, or a great video maker by following tutorials, structured guides, guidelines or copying some predecessor. But in the end, the only way for any of us to become truly great in our field is if we actually think for ourselves, do or make something original. Don't just be an output responding to information fed to you. You can pretend that you're good at whatever you want to be good at by following tutorials, advice, and tips or tricks, but you'll never be truly great at it until you begin to learn and think for yourself. Thank you very much for watching, good luck in solo queue, and have a wonderful day.